everyone welcome to the talk with Ebuse. don't forget like share subscribe my name is Ebuse blessing and today we have a guest that will actually be talking about love dr tolu adedube will be teaching us love in general she's going to be talking about different type of love language how you can identify yours and how you can actually identify that of your spouse and how you can actually interact very well and make your relationship smooth Hi, my name is Tolu and I'm glad to be here. This is the talk with Abel Say. Abel Say is a good friend of mine. I'd like to commend her for a job well done. She has such a passion for reaching out to people and impacting lives and it's really commendable. Good job, my dear friend. What is love? What is love? Love, love is such a beautiful thing. That sounds like a song. Okay. Love by way of definition from the Bible because I'm a Christian. I'm going to use John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And so it gives me the impression that love is, is a verb. It's given. It's not just a word. You can't just say I love you. It's not. It doesn't stop there. You have to act the love one way or another. You have to speak the love one way or another. So going forward, love in 1 Corinthians 13 describes the characteristics of love love is patient love is kind love has self-control love is tolerant and it goes on and on and on and then it ends by saying love never fails wow so it means that in order to have successful friendships in order to have successful love relationships in order to just generally get along with people you need love love is essential it's what we depend on the most in order to thrive and in order to succeed on earth so i'm going to start my talk with an except from the book that I read and I'm still reading it's the five love languages by Gary Chapman I'm just gonna read one paragraph very quickly married or single young or old every human has the emotional need to feel loved when this need is met we move out to reach our potential for God and our potential for good in the world however when we feel unloved we struggle just to survive it's a struggle living on this earth without love and that's why it's it's all encompassing when the bible categorically says that love covers a multitude of sins is really just what it is love allows you to see things more clearly love allows you to overlook the flaws and the weaknesses of others love just allows you to be love allows you to survive love allows you to thrive in communicating love i'm just going to give an example real quick because i watch a lot of k-drama i'm nigerian i speak english natively and maybe i like a guy that's Korean and that's what he speaks Korean natively already there's language barrier he cannot even tell me that he loves me because I'm not going to understand when he says Sane. so we need a translator in order for our relationship to work communication I speak I love you he doesn't hear I love you because he doesn't speak English so there's a lot that is lost in translation and that's why love languages are very important it's essential that the languages are pari passo in that they line up they align properly so that when I communicate love to my friend she perceives the love I'm giving to her and when she communicates love to me I perceive the love that she's giving back to me and that's how we have the five love languages there's five of them that's not to say that there's there's no other love languages anywhere because there's multiple languages all over the world however you'd find that every way that we feel or speak love is covered up in these five the first one is acts of service acts of service is totally just like likes people helping her do stuff. She doesn't want to pay. She just likes when her friend Ibose say is there to take her clothes to the laundry. It's get to get it off the washer. She just likes when her friend is there to cook for her. It's not that she's lazy or anything, but she just feels loved when things are done for her. That's acts of service. Number two, physical touch. She just likes to be held. She just likes to be hugged. When she's down, she doesn't want to be alone. She wants someone that would give her a hug, give her a kiss. Sex is a physical touch, so it's one of them. Some people just like to feel the presence of the person that they love. That's physical touch. The third one is words of affirmation. Oh, Tolu, your hair is so lovely. Oh, thank you. Compliments. Some people love compliments. They love to be commended. They love you to say their food tastes good. They love you to say you look beautiful today. Oh, you're wearing a nice perfume. Where did you get it? Things like that excite them. They feel love. They also like you to tell them that they're doing well they want you to affirm their value they want you to say that i love that you are my friend i love that 
I know you. I, I wonder what my life would be like without you. Words of affirmation. The fourth one is giving up gifts. I really think that most girls fall in this category. You just like to get gifts. Like, I'm coming over to your house. I better not come empty handed. Even if it's just a pack of lays, I have to come in with something or a tub of ice cream. You just want something, you know, however little. It just shows I am loved. And the fifth one is quality time. Some people, it's not about spending 24 hours in a day with you. They just want to be with you when they need it the most. Spend time talking, spend time Netflix and chilling, spend time improving on one another, just talking on the phone for hours, you know, quality time. And so that's it. Those are the five love languages according to the book. For the most part, we have the primary one. That's the most important one. For some people, they have all five. But for some people, it's probably just two. And for me, for example, it's quality time. You give me quality time and uh, maybe acts of service and I'm good. Some people have everything in bits and pieces, but it's essential that you know your primary love language so that you can receive love the way you want to. It's essential that the person you are in a relationship with, that your friends know your love languages. And if you're listening and you don't even know your love language, then we'll start from there. How do you know your love language? Number one, you have to observe your behavior. How do you behave when someone compliments you? How do you behave when someone does things for you? How do you behave when you spend time with that person? Does it get you excited? Does the light come on in your eyes? You know, you have to observe your body observe your behavior observe how those languages make you feel if it makes you feel some kind of way then it's a no no if it makes you feel excited then it's a yes yes you also have to observe what you request of others so here's one aspect that we have to deal with later on but the, the tendency to give the language that you want to receive is very high and so that's one other way when you know what you request of others then you know what your love language is or when you observe what you give to others then it gives you an idea of what your love language is and finally you listen to your complaints if you find yourself being pissed at your boyfriend or your girlfriend because she doesn't care and how do you know she doesn't care she doesn't even want to spend time with you there you have it your love language is probably quality time and then you have to let her know that hey i just need to spend time with you that's all and that's all that matters to me so now we know the ways to know what your love language is how do you know the love language of your spouse you ask your spouse your boyfriend your girlfriend or even just your friend that is a good friend to you you want to ask hey Abel, say, what is your love language what makes you tick what makes you feel that I love you? I can't just keep spending time with you because I like to spend time. Just tell me what your love language is or you observe your friend's behavior and see what makes her eyes light up and then you know that this must be the love language, right? And so going forward, you've identified your love language, you've identified the love language of your partner, then you find the balance, okay? I read a story about the lady, Amanda, and she wanted to know the love language of her mother. And without even asking, hey mom, what's your love language? She didn't need to be that direct. She just said, I want to know what I what you want for your birthday. Your birthday is coming, mommy. You're gonna be 50, what would you like for this year? And then she goes off, and then she comes a week after, and she says, oh, have you given him much thought? What would you like? for your birthday and her mom says you know what I just want to spend time with you how about you you just come in the morning and you're here with me all through the day we can go shopping Netflix and chill a little and then there she has it her mom's love language is quality time and then in order to remember that love is given in order to show that she loves her mom she has to give her what she wants which is quality time love is sacrifice now giving the love language or expressing your love to your friend your partner your spouse in a language that they understand might not be always comfortable for you but love is sacrifice when when God sent Jesus to die for us it cost him a lot a whole lot so in order for your friendships to work in order for your relationships to work you have to give off the love language however much it costs you I'm not saying you should kill no but you have to push yourself and that's what we do when we love people so when you identify what your partner's love language is even if it's not comfortable for you you go out of your way to do it because that is how they feel loved that is how they feel secure and that is how they are happy and when they are happy you're happy remember to establish with your partner exactly what their love language is and remember to be confident and bold enough to tell your partner that this is my love language now that you know about it thanks to the talk with able said you go back and tell your friends tell your family tell your loved ones that this is how i feel loved and because they love you they will start to speak to you in the language that you understand i hope you've learned a thing 
giving or two today and I hope this helps you to make better relationships, better friendships. Till next time on the Talk with April Sarah. My name is Tolu, signing off.